Hey, we're Kaiser, and welcome back to the Simpsons Tapped Out. Well, with many updates, you just know that things are going to go by super fast. But I'm already on the last prize. What's that prize? Oh, we're going to get Grandpa. Woohoo! Quitting time! Yep. Didn't release special sauces 100% identical to Krusty's. You can't prove that. I believe I just did. With the beakers and the Bunsen burners and the comparing of the listed ingredients. It was a perfect crime, but how did you figure it out? The first clue was when your special saw stopped the bleeding on Lenny's arm. I knew Krusty would be so cheap as to mix in sawdust to stretch the sauce, which clotted on Lenny's arm. It's true. And then, our dad chugged it down and said it tasted familiar. This is a man who has ingested gallons of Krusty sauce in his life. And finally, we saw your army of burger soldiers painstakingly squeezing hundreds of crusty sauce packets into Dimly's buckets. Ugh, this is what happens when you employ literal hamburgers to do your dirty work. And I'm going to finally run you out of town. Oh yeah? You and what army? That would be me and my army of fellow trial lawyers. Golly gee. Does anyone know who that is? Well, this isn't how I thought it would end. Flippin' burgers ain't the worst thing I've ever done. There was a one time in Sausalito. Fast food grandpa. So you see, your honor, that burger-headed bozo is responsible for an entire city's pain and suffering, and also ripping off my special sauce. Pipe down, Krusty. I'm considering charging you as an accessory to the crime for serving that sauce. Wow, this is really intense. Here, Lisa, I want you a low-fat lad yogurt. Uh, thanks, Mom. But are we supposed to even have food in the courtroom? Oh, golly. Oh, gosh, Judge. Don't be too hard on old Krusty. He's just a little bit confused. Just like I was confused when I was ordering a special sauce. And when you ordered an army of burgermen to take over the town. Order in the court. Another outburst like that, Krusty, and I'll have the burger soldiers take you outside. This is quite the show. I should have brought popcorn. You can have the rest of the low-fat lad yogurt. It tastes terrible. Well, that's a little bit surprising, considering the fact that you like everything that's, like, healthy. So Krusty embarrassed himself in court, blew a lawyer, object to his client, and then basically we're going to wrap it up. Hey, hey! I hope my other lawsuits are okay. You're fortunate the jury decided to go easy on you, Mr. Dimmerly. Try not to take over the city again. Oh, gee whiz, Your Honor. I sure won't do that again. Heh <laughs> heh. But what about him stealing my special sauce? He's ruining my reputation. If anything, he's bolstering your reputation. People actually liked it when it was on his burgers. Court is adjourned. Well, that stinks. And so does his low fat lad yogurts. Let me try that. Taste yogurt. Hey, this is also made of my special sauce. Which means I can file a new lawsuit. Windfall, here I come. The special sauce is ketchup mixed with mayo. You can't sue someone for that. Oh, what a great ending. Congratulations, I completed the Food Wars update. A minute you've been jonasing for a burger for days now. Yeah, I think so. Or jonasing, actually. It's a big burger that Homer has, by the way. Massive burger. Shot Jeans Rusty Box is here. What do we got in this one? Hollow Bundle, Drone, Haunt, Mechman, and Future Monument. So these are all in the Yearbook Mystery Box, I know for a fact. We've also got Dim Willie. Finally. Finally, we got the quest line for them. But on to Grandpa. Gee whiz, I can barely find any employee to flip my burgers. What gives? I don't know, sir. Who wouldn't want to be on their feet for eight hours a day for low pay, an unpredictable work schedule, and no benefits except for free burgers? Dog, oh, quit your belly again. I wish I could, but I just ate three free burgers. The young generation is weak. Back in my day, we never complained about our unprecedented post-war economic growth, robust factory system, low cost of living, and jubilant national pride. Now move it out of the way, let me show you how it's done. See, back in the day, you could work at a gas station or something, and you'd have enough money 
to like own a house and like two cars and stuff. It was insane. All right there, Grandpa Willie. Hello. As you may know, I might not be around much longer. Did I just call him Grandpa Willie by mistake? Hey, Grandpa Willie. Grandpa Simpson. Show Jim Willie how it's done. I'm going where the action is. Ah, it's so classic. Oh! Was that the Christmas raccoon? Oh, that was actually pretty good. Wow. What a 360. Yeah, there's that Christmas raccoon. I don't think we saw them in the previous update. We just had the golf update. But we saw them in this one, the Food Wars update. Which would make a little bit more sense, I guess. Although, I mean, raccoons could steal golf balls as well. Also, that's disgusting. He kept the meat in his pocket. Which one did he steal? Was it the second one? Yeah, it was the second one. I'm no spring chicken myself. Wow, that was amazing. I've never seen such a good burger flipping form. When you slug back as many pills as I do, you get used to the motion. Was that from the same episode? I don't think it was. Phew. I haven't had a rust like that since I was in the service in Germany. Wow, my restaurant is as heart-pounding as a World War II battle? No, I meant working in the service industry, slinging broadwords after the war ended. Oh, sorry. I assumed you were in the army because of your crew cut and unsettling thousand-yard stare. Oh, that? Yeah, I was a war hero as a member of the Flying Hellfish. Flying Hellfish? Golly gee, that sounds pretty tough. You know, I'm somewhat of a military man myself. What, those ketchup-toting burger boys? They're softer than German panties, which were mighty soft. I tell you burger soldiers were more rude than scary. They didn't even say please. Pop down and go fix the shake machine. And Abe, can you tell me more about the flying hellfish? Oh, I guess dim willies is like McDonald's. Them shake machines don't work. So ramble on about the Hellfish. I don't know if I've got the Hellfish bundle yet. Do I have the Hellfish bundle? With Grandpa and the statue and everything? I can't remember. I know I didn't have it back in the day. I don't know if I ever got it since then. Where's my two dollars an hour? I'm thinking with your war experience and my burger soldiers, we can make the best team since ketchup and mustard. Oh, did I ever tell you about the man who invented ketchup? No. Oh, thank God, because I don't know who invented it. Sometimes when I mix my medications up, I spend a day or two rambling incoherently. Anyway, I'm excited to be your war strategist. Can't wait to get started. Well, Grandpa, how's this gonna end? Hello! As you may know, I might not be around much longer. This job is a table and ending grind. All you've done so far is punch your time card. Then Willie's got me training his burger army too. He's tracking my every move. It's like 1984. You mean the dystopian novel by George Orwell? Of course that's what I mean. What do you think? I was trying to do a comical mislead and then list a bunch of funny things from the year 1984? That does sound entertaining. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm too tired for that tomfoolery. We need to pull together and get organized and do something about these working conditions. Alright, so we're going to wrap it up by probably quitting. And Dim Willie will still be the way it always is. Not good. Hello! As you may know, I might not be around much longer. Also, we see second animation. Demonstrate his dance number. I'm assuming show kids how it's done is probably the burger flipping thing. But first up, complain about his work. Do we sell... French fries? I'm putting this on my resume! I talked to the rest of the workers. We're gonna make a bunch of those picketing signs and drop a list of demands. Aw, uh, not gonna do work to get out of working? But it's for the greater good. Chanting, hey hey ho ho, these picketing signs have gotta go. All you have to do is change like two of those words, and you can get picketing with us to get better working conditions. No deal. 
Why is he still working there? Hello! As you may know, I might not be around much longer. So we all agree. We stage a walkout at 4 o'clock until Tim Willys meets our demands of modest pay increase and better benefits. And don't forget about our required nap times. That's non-negotiable. And while we're at it, might as well demand some nicer uniforms. I'm thinking silk shirts and cashmere burger hats. I don't think Tim Willys gonna go for that. Include it or I walk out on those walkouts. And you call people my age soft? Aren't you supposed to be part of the greatest generation? Nah, I'm part of the grading generation. I complain until I get my way. They call everyone else a baby. Uh, sorry to interrupt your little meeting, but can I place an order at the drive-thru, please? Sorry for the delay, sir. Please drop at the next window and we'll take your order. Can we interest you in a Dim Willie's beef bomb? Wait a minute. Drive-by? Bombs? Organized labor? That sounds like gang activity. If we're going to finally prove Springfield has a gang problem, the mayor will let us get one of those big military armored vehicles. Grandpa ignore Wiggum? Suspect gang activity? Hello! As you may know, I might not be around much longer. Not in my damn town. Do we sell French fries? Hello! As you may know, I might not be around much longer. What in the world is going on in this restaurant? Didn't really? Are you having Abe Simpson organize another Hamburger military operation? What? No. We're definitely not doing that. He's right, we're not. Wait, we're not? No, we're organizing a union. Power to the workers. We're not doing that either. I'm picketing the picket line. Chanting. What do we want? An end to the strike. When do we want it? Now. Chanting. Tell me what picketing looks like. This is what a picketing looks like. You can't cross my picket line, you scab. I'll kill ya! Gentlemen, please. There's gotta be a reasonable way to settle this. He's right. We should try to reach a fair deal in good faith. The only way I know to settle things is to roll up my sleeves, hunker down, and dance! Uh, so that's where dancing comes into play. Demonstrated dance number? I'm gonna have to hide some things, but... We'll make it work, don't worry. As you may know, I might not be around much longer. Oh! Oh, that's good enough, I guess. I'm going where the action is! I'm not looking, I'm not looking, don't you worry. What am I doing? I'm completely all over over here. Okay, hold on. Now that's... Uh, let's see, where is this? Uh, what do we got here? What's going on? He's dancing? That's pretty nice moves. There's a raccoon again! He's a dancer! Look at him go! Did you see the raccoon? So when I see him dancing, it reminds me of a quote that he said a long time ago in one of the episodes. It's not exact, but he said, I fell 10,000 feet on a pile of rocks. That was Jitterbug in that very night. That's when Homer climbs the, the murder horn, that's what it was. But he's dancing, the raccoon's dancing, everybody's happy. Will Squeaky Teen and the other employees be happy as well? We're gonna find out. Golly gee, that was terrible dancing. That's gonna haunt me for years. Wiggum, I'll give you any militized vehicle you want. Just make it stop. Even Dim Willie's Burger Army is running for the hills. I knew my dancing would unite everyone. It's my dancing to end the Cold War. The Russians were never heard from again. In here this whole time I thought it was actually really good. To be that spry and do that amount of things at his age, it's very impressive. Come on, nobody else is going to mention it? I guess not. Well, yeah, that is the full walkthrough for Fast Food Grandpa, or whatever their name was actually called. The storyline was actually very interesting, I have to say. I, I, was, I was into it more than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't really sure how they were going to kind of incorporate Fast Food Grandpa in the storyline, but it did an okay job, I guess. Let me down below, though, what did you think of Fat Food Grandpa? What did you think of the animations? Of course, they do have that French fry quote, which is very, very nostalgic. So, subscribe for more Tap Tap videos, and I will see you with more moving forward. Been, well, the Simpsons tapped out. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.